season. Coming to Chattanooga January 18th through 20th for three performances only. Tickets at TivoliChattanooga.com. Good morning. Do you have plenty of bread and milk? Maybe a homemade soup is simmering on the stove, getting ready for this very cold weekend ahead. Uh, the winter weather that's coming our way. The perfect time to, of course, watch us here on Channel 3 and keep your weather uh, updates current, but also maybe sit down and watch a movie and dream of getting out eventually to go see a movie live and in person. A good time for Tom Benson to join us then. He, of course, is with the Tennessee Aquarium, and today we're talking about IMAX movies playing. Good to see you this morning, Tom. That's good to see you, Julie, or should I say, good day, mate. <laughs> okay, good day, mate. You're doing that because, you know, y'all have done IMAX movies before that you featured on the Great Barrier Reef there in Australia. Anyone who knows anything about the continent knows it's huge. What the southern end has is different from what the northern end has. So this is a new movie focusing on the wilds of the north. Is that right? That's right. This is Australia's Great Wild North 3D, which is going to start on Friday, January 14th. We're very excited about this film, Julie, because, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have Australia maybe on the bucket list. I know I do. I would love to go visit someday. But even if you were to visit Australia, some of these locations that you're going to see in Australia's Great Wild North 3D are so remote that it would really take a lot of effort for somebody to be able to get there. So the filmmakers have trudged into the Northern Territory, that great big expanse in the northern part of the continent that's roughly twice the size of Texas, but only has about 15,000 permanent residents there to see some of these gorgeous uh, waterfalls and landscapes that fill that giant six-story screen in 3D and really take you into this adventure that explores not only the wildlife there, but also, you know, some of the cultural uh, aspects of the Northern Territory. I don't pretend to have a good sense of geography, but is this area, Tom, part of what was impacted by the fires a few years ago? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there was a large part of the continent that um, that was impacted by the fires. Uh, this crew spent about a year in the Northern Territory, and it's one of those parts of the world that experiences a, a dramatic difference between the wet season and the dry season. And so during the wet season, uh, there's tremendous rains and huge flooding over large expanses of the Northern Territory. But then during the dry season, a lot of that kind of dries up almost into desert-like territory. And you're left with these wetlands that are, you know, really a driving force for a lot of the wildlife. They're especially one of the most iconic uh, creatures, which is featured in this film, the saltwater crocodile. So I guess they had begun making this film long before those fires took place, which speaks to the the length of time these filmmakers are putting in to their product right i mean this is a long time that they spend getting this the cinematography ready to to screen yeah as a matter of fact we just had a delightful conversation with nick robinson who's the director of this film and it was written by uh, an aboriginal man uh, who stars in the film. And so you'll follow him around the Northern Territory and, and into some places. There are some what they call living caves. And we're familiar to some degree here in the United States with cave paintings and rock paintings in different parts, especially of the Southwestern United States, or certainly those uh, cave paintings in France that are so very uh, you know, well-known in history books. Um, but these are some cave paintings that are still very vivid. And you're actually through the magic of IMAX taken into these caves with some of the people of Australia uh, to see these, you know, very special places that uh, a lot of people will not see with their own two eyes, even if they travel to Australia. Let me hit the granddad side of you for a minute before we talk about Spider-Man, because I know you're extending the play of that, but you've got two grandchildren about to be three, right? Well, we've got uh, one that just turned five and one that turned nine. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. don't you find that they are kids today are able to see the world through events like this and films like this in a very different way than we did? All we had, and I loved them, were our National Geographic magazines where these remote places seem so, so far away. Your grandchildren can watch this movie and then they can Google and find out all they want to about Northern Australia. 
Okay, so I was really amazed. I stayed up until midnight on New Year's Eve with them. Uh, this is the first time I've been you know, up at midnight in a <laughs> long time. Um, but we found a channel on uh, the cable that had fireworks from around the world. And it was really just that sound and, you know, iconic city. So when the Opera House was there in the harbor in Sydney, and you saw the fireworks going up, uh, Vita instantly, the older of the two granddaughters, instantly recognized that location because she had seen it um, online. So yes, one of the things that Nick Robinson, the director of Australia's Great Wild North said, is that you know the ability to have school children around the world see this film be transported into this location, learn about the culture of Northern Australia, see some of these iconic animals, and then understand the connection between humans and wildlife and you know the way the environment can work in harmony together is a very special thing. Mm -hmm. And we're also grateful for the support from Tennessee American Water as our local presenting sponsor because they really wanted to have the opportunity for a lot of school kids to come into the theater and see that. And we think that you know, right now we're in kind of a surge with Omicron, but that will, you know, hopefully dissipate quite quickly. And we think that by spring, uh, we'll start to invite more of those school groups into the theater to experience these films again and to have that rich learning experience. And then go across the street to the aquarium where you can see barramundi and whip rails, whip rays from Australia and some of the other iconic creatures that we have. And also the American alligator, which is very similar to the saltwater crocodile but very different in other ways. So they can compare and contrast right. the wetlands of the Everglades that they can research again online, see these animals at the aquarium, see the other animals in the wetlands in Australia through this IMAX film and really kind of have this rich learning experience here. I think it's fascinating. Okay, on the non-educational front, but the fun front, about a minute or so left, you've extended Spider-Man. People can still have a chance to go see it for a little while longer. Yeah, there's a lot of people that were busy during the holidays, and there's a lot of people that still want to see this film, so we decided, you know what, let's keep it for another weekend. So uh, the 14th, 15th, and 16th of January, one show, 6.30 p.m., Spider-Man, No Way Home, a lot of fun on the giant screen. And I guess I shouldn't say it's non-educational. You can learn some fun stunts and how to be brave. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I think everybody knows Spider-Man is just fun, right? And uh, so it's been it's been great to have people coming to the theater, and they've had so much fun with this film and some of the other feature-length films. So we've got more excitement coming up throughout 2022, which, again, is the aquarium's 30th anniversary. So we're looking forward to celebrating both at the aquarium and IMAX this year. Let us celebrate with you, Tom. That's a milestone. So thanks so much. Thank you. Good day, mate. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> you can go uh, again. The, it previews. When does it start, Tom? The Australia one? The 14th, January 14th. All right there for you come Martin Luther King weekend. Uh, TNAqua.org is your website. You can also give them a call at the phone number there on your screen. Do go ahead and reserve your tickets as quickly as you can because they do want to make sure you get a seat in the theater. We're back after this. Don't miss an all new Law and Order Thursday. One of these bombs goes off and our city is torn apart. All these people attacked because of what they look like. Not in New York City. Back up really slow. Last night, five inmates escaped. FBI is bringing in their own specialist. Detective. You're making a fool out of all of us. Unlike you, I don't hold grudges. An all new Law & Order Thursday, tonight on NBC. At Hickory Valley, there is no time for the winter blues. Every day there is a variety of activities and fun events. With so many neighbors and friends, there's no time for loneliness or boredom. You can relax and enjoy life's simple pleasures. Residents have their independence and families have peace of mind their loved one is in a loving and safe environment. We aren't just a community, we are a family. Call Allison today to schedule a tour and take advantage of our 2021 rates. I got hurt in a car wreck and I need a lawyer. How much does it cost to hire Jay and Brent? Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That's right. It costs you absolutely nothing up front to hire us. We don't get paid until you get paid. It didn't cost me anything for Jay and Brent to get started on my case, and they got me $1 million. I'm Jay. And I'm Brent. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call us. We're, We're on, on top, top of it. Hurt in a car wreck? Call 265-1100. That's 265-1100. Isn't that the pinnacle, girl? It's Picanal. Picanal Home Improvements.
No matter how you say it, Pinnacle Home Improvements will install a new roof for as low as $89 a month, windows for your entire house from only $79 a month, or new siding from $99 a month. Call now, Pinnacle Home Improvements. Honey, it's pronounced Pinnacle. That's what I said. Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Watch Channel 3 School Patrol, coverage you can count on. A lot of us have made a New Year's resolution to get healthy in 2022, but for a lot of folks, the idea of going to the gym not only is a little bit worrisome, but sometimes it just simply isn't possible. So thank goodness there are great folks like June Pewitt with the UT Extension, and she's saying this morning, don't worry, just click on your computer and we'll come right into your home. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Yes, that's what's so wonderful about these programs. You can just roll out of bed in your pajamas, and, and participate, nobody's going to know. You are definitely an example of how, in some ways, uh, COVID was a benefit, this idea of being able to access businesses and classes and things remotely because y'all had to pivot, as they say. So your Tai Chi classes have been a mainstay for a long time. They're just now uh, online, is that right? Uh, we did them last year online. That was the first thing we did big, and it was just so popular. But we had people do it from their office on their lunch break, um, you know, or like I said, at home in their pajamas. They'd get the whole family around uh, the computer, or some people plugged us into the big screen TV, and um, okay. or some people just used their smartphone. So it's so versatile. So the classes that you've got, I don't want to – take over too much because I want you to be the one to lead the way. But there are two different things we're talking about this morning. One is the matter of balance and Tai Chi. And then another is kind of a wellness focus. Is that right? Right. We have matter of balance. And this is one we have not done virtually yet, uh, but we're looking forward to it. We did a similar program last year that was, again, just a blast. And it's for seniors and maybe who have falling fallen or have a fear of falling because Julie, um, one in four of us seniors is going to fall, um, you know, every, every year. Um, so it, it's inevitable. So we want to do what we can to help preserve balance and keep from doing that. And I want you to think a matter of balance is sitting around chatting with your cup of coffee with 10 or 12 of your good friends and discussing things about falls. But also we're going to have guest speakers pop in and do a food demonstration. And we're working on getting a pharmacist to come in so you can ask questions. So like having all this company in your living room except you don't have to dust <laughs> spoken as a woman who has done a thing or two very well said so um are these classes june only available for folks who are in hamilton county proper Oh my goodness. No, Julie, we have people from five states that have registered so far. I'm so excited to be able to talk to people outside my office or my home. Uh, and that was so much fun. Last year, we got to know people. We had a, a lady from Upper East Tennessee that lived on a farm. And, um, you know, she would like turn her camera and show us around parts of it. So we got to do some really cool things. And we've got one of our um, matter of balance members in our first class that's going to be in Mexico the last three sessions and she's going to try to zoom from Mexico which will be a first for us but won't that be exciting I get a free vacation and yeah. I don't have to buy a plane ticket that is awesome okay so you said earlier how some people had you plugged into the big screen tv others were on their phone do you have to have then um, a certain type of device or as long as you have a home computer or a Android or iPhone? Absolutely. These are done by Zoom links. And as most people know now, a Zoom is free to everybody. You don't have to download anything. We'll just email you a link. You'll click on it and hopefully it'll pop up just like I did on the screen today. Okay. So um, you mentioned how people can ask questions. Are they really interacting like you and I are now or do they have to email those questions in? No, no, no. Matter of balance, we're keeping the classes small for that one, and we have three different series. Those are non-two-hour 
classes. Um, it starts, the first one starts January 11th, and we have some that uh, start later in January. But it's going to be chit chatting like this, and we will help you figure out which buttons to push so you can talk to us. That's part of the first session, too, getting to know your device. And we'll do our best. We can call you and, and try to help you figure it out if I can figure it out. So. <laughs> okay, and what about the charge? Is there a fee? No, there's not. It's not for any of these programs. Uh, our Tai Chi program uh, is continuing. You know, we went from Zoom last year to in person to outdoors, and we're back to Zoom. And we kind of like it that way. Yeah. Again, we had working people that could participate during their lunch break. That is fantastic. Okay, now I don't want to cut you short because this is not the only thing you're doing, the matter of balance and Tai Chi. Then isn't there some kind of a, a health and wellness program that you have too? It is. This is brand new and it's an ambassador program and a lot of people are probably familiar with our UT Master Gardener program um, and this is going to be similar. We're going to give 40 hours of training to volunteers on health and wellness and some of that will be self-directed study and then after that 40 hours of training and that will be on Tuesdays I think from 10 to 12 in um, February and March. They can help me with my programs or I can help them develop a, a health and wellness program for their community. That is fantastic. So that's where you're looking for the volunteers then, correct? Yes, and well, we use volunteers on, on all of our programs. We recruited two Tai Chi volunteers during COVID, during our virtual classes that expressed an interest of teaching. So we got them trained and they helped us in our in-person classes um, this summer and fall. And with the Tai Chi, June, before I let you run, is that only beneficial from a physical standpoint or does Tai Chi also help mentally? Oh my gosh, it relieves stress. It's about breathing, uh, mindfulness, um, just the relaxation of it. People enjoy it and, and just uh, rave about the benefits of it. And I, I know that we've had these conversations before. Somebody might be tuning in for the first time. Correct me, but if it's Tai Chi and you are maybe stationary, perhaps you've had a surgery or something and you can't walk easily, you can still do that. Yes, you can do this form of Tai Chi seated. So it's actually called Tai Chi for arthritis and fall prevention. But I've had people in wheelchairs do this before or people with, you know, low physical level, maybe recuperating from a surgery or something. And this is an awesome way to get back in the groove of, of becoming a little bit more physically active. Okay, so I know that there's no fee, which makes it all the more appealing for people. You said that you're limiting spaces. So the first class begins when and Kind of what's the deadline to sign up? Um, January 11th, and oh, I almost forgot. For a matter of balance, they get a nice notebook that we use. We go along in the class. It's a lot about problem solving, about things going on in your home and your life that may cause a fall. So we want to give enough time to get those mailed out. But we also have two other sessions that start January 24th and as does our Tai Chi. So you want, don't want to wait to the last minute um, because we want to be able to communicate with you, uh, you know, through email and in case a matter of balance, um, a, a nice a workbook you'll be mailed. Okay, let me show people then how they can sign up. The simplest way always is to go to their website there at hamilton.tennessee.edu, but you can also call them. They're there to answer the phones as well, 423-209-8560. Did I get that right? That's right. We have a new phone number. I had to look. Oh. Okay. So did I? No, just... you, got it, you got it right. Oh, okay, good. I have it right. That's all that matters. Okay. Thank you, June. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thanks. Do you notice cold drafts when you walk past your windows? Or are you seeing your energy bills start to climb during these colder months? Well, if you answered yes to either of those questions, you're going to want to stay tuned because today we're going to show you the easiest way to replace those windows and doors affordably. Hey everybody, I'm here with Kirsten from West Shore Home. And Kirsten, a lot of people notice these problems, but they're really not ready to start a project like that 
right now. Holidays just ended, they were traveling, buying gifts for family and friends. They're not ready to commit to paying for a window project. How can you help them? So Joe, we're making it easier than ever for folks to get their window or door project done right now. They can save their money and pay off those credit card bills because right now folks can get what they need with 24 months of no payments. Wow, so you're saying no payments until the start of 2024. How about the interest rate? What about that? So we've also got you covered there. For that entire 24 month period, you'll pay no interest on your window or door project. So two full years, no payments and no interest. That's incredible. That's right. And the best part is when we come out to take our measurements and show all the different styles and options to choose from, folks will know right there on the spot if they're approved for financing with our instant approval process. So there's no waiting around for an approval. That's great. Kirsten, any chance you can show us a project you did in the local area? Yeah, sure. Take a look. This family was having some serious problems with cold drafts around most of their windows. We were able to come in and install these beautiful new double hung windows. This will not only keep them more comfortable for the rest of this winter, but also increase the energy efficiency in their home for years to come. That turned out amazing. Kirsten, thanks so much. Folks, if you're noticing cold drafts around your windows, call the window experts at West Shore Home. There has never Never been a better time to replace those windows than now. Give them a call today, and when you do, take advantage of this great offer. It's 50% off the cost of installation on all window and door projects. And you heard Kirsten, hold on to your money for the new year because West Shore Home is offering no payments and no interest for 24 months. Call West Shore Home now. As we enter 2022, my goodness, that is hard to say. No doubt, like me, you're thinking about your New Year's resolutions, and maybe some of it's going to be about weight loss and improving your finances. Some of it might also, though, be what you want to do to further your soul and your spirit. And a lot of us for that for that will mean uh, considering giving to the local organizations that make our community such a wonderful place to live. So enter Jane Kaler, who for years has been almost the face of the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Good to see you this morning. Jane. Good morning. How are you today? I am so fine and I'm glad to see you this morning because I think over the Christmas part of the season, an awful lot of us probably had conversations around the table about how blessed we were to have our health. That's everything uh, when you're listing your blessings. And yet every day y'all are helping families whose children are not in good health and they need that support. That's right. You know, there's nothing I think probably worse than having a sick child and having a sick child in the midst of this pandemic that seems like it's never going to end is even worse. But fortunately, we've been able to continue to provide our services all through, uh, you know, the challenges of 20 and 21. And uh, as we are entering 2022 here, uh, hoping things are going to get better for everyone. But, uh, you know, the Ronald McDonald House always needs help. Uh, we've been so fortunate to have the support of the community, despite the fact we've had to cancel events, you know, because of the pandemic. And so we're just grateful for all the donations and everything that people bring to us. I sat back like a lot of people did probably around the Christmas week and watching Channel 3 and uh, seeing about the generosity of this community that we live in, the Santa train and the um, Forgotten Child Fund and on and on the story goes. When there is a need presented, people in the Tennessee Valley step up. Y'all could not have done what you've done all these years without that support. We would not have would have been this successful, you know, been able to uh, help so many families and to, uh, you know, operate our facility inside Children's Hospital. A couple of years ago, we added a hospitality cart to our program over there. Uh, during part of the pandemic, it was paused, but we're back up and operating with it. It was really important during the, the, the worst of the surges of the pandemic uh, so when some of the families were quarantined, could not even leave their child's hospital room to go to the cafeteria. Uh, we provided snack bags. And so it, it, there's some essential services that people sometimes don't just don't think about the logistics of being in the hospital or having a child in the hospital and how important it is to have, you know, just a place to rest and food and a place to take a shower. Sometimes the shower is the thing that keeps you going day mm -hmm. after day. Mm -hmm. So talk about what y'all might be needing right now because you've had to learn to pivot. That became the word of the last couple of years as the pandemic's face showed itself in different ways. Is monetary donation still the main thing you need or do you need volunteer help? 
Well, we are trying to gear back up with our volunteer program for the family room inside the hospital. Um, and we know that there are some of our volunteers who probably will not return to the program. Uh, they have to be fully vaccinated, and that's a challenge for some. And some of them are, you know, uh, fearful about coming into the hospital, but it's a big need. That program's totally run by volunteers, so we do need new volunteers for the family room. Um, we always, one of, the, one of the things that's been such a challenge during the pandemic is providing food for the families. Uh, with our adopt a meal volunteers having their challenges and we were only able to have four in the house at a time uh, we've had to order a lot of food from restaurants for the families and so restaurant gift cards uh, are really appreciated along with just monetary donations it takes about 75 dollars per day per family for us to provide our services at the Ronald McDonald House. And so the increments of 75, you're helping one family for one night. And help us remember too, Jane, so many people here in Chattanooga can forget that for people who maybe live an hour, even an hour and a half away from Chattanooga, y'all become the hospital for their child. They don't have the ability to run home. That's exactly right. They, you know, for some of the families, particularly those kind of from the Blue Ridge area up and on the Okoy, it may be a two hour drive to home. And when you have a child in the hospital, particularly a neonatal baby who's sometimes in very precarious situation or a child who's getting cancer treatment every day, uh, not only is the, the travel tough on the families physically, it's tough on them uh, financially also, too. And so having a place to stay um, right next to the hospital is such an advantage for them, you know, both physically and financially. Well, I know I've got to let you run. For people who want to give, is the best thing to do to go online or can they even just send you in an old fashioned check? How are you doing that? Well, we take it any way it comes. Old-fashioned checks, appreciate it, and we are seeing a lot more online donations than we than we used to. And, but we'll take it any way you can. You can drop by. We've got an easy way to to drop by food or donations of paper goods, things that help us in the house. All you have to do is just drive up to the back of the house and call a number that's posted out there and we come out and get it. So it's kind of curb, for, curb service at the Ronald <laughs> McDonald House. Um, but we'll take it any way you want to give it to us. And you can call us and give us your credit card number. We're, you know, we're trying to make it as easy for the donor as possible. Well, thank you for your years of dedicated service to the families there at Ronald McDonald House. And uh, we just value you very much, Jane. Thank you. Thank you for, for having me on today, Julie. Happy New Year. <laughs> Show us your mug and you could win one of our mugs, plus a delicious ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Just email your photo to showusyourmug at wrcbtv.com. Watch for our winner each weekday morning on Channel 3 Eyewitness News today. I yo-yo dieted all my life. I counted points, followed the rules, and it didn't help me in the long run. I was so tired of losing the weight and gaining it all back. But thank God I found the answer, and the answer is in shape MD. I lost 40 pounds my first month and I feel great. I learned how to push past the plateaus, tame my temptations, and live in shape forever. Call In Shape MD today. Lose it, love it, live it. Jack's Big Bologna Breakfast Sandwich is back. There's just more to love with two perfectly fried slices of bologna topped with eggs, cheese, and Texas toast for just $3.49. Breakfast made the Southern way. Jack's all about the South. Technology has greatly changed the world we live in, mostly for the better. Unfortunately, though, we see the unintended consequences caused by cell phones on a daily basis. Far too often, people are being seriously injured and hurt because of negligent drivers distracted by their cell phones. If you've been harmed by a negligent or distracted driver, the law is on your side. Let us go to work for you. Wettermark Keith, the name you know and trust.
Do you have a loved one in need of compassionate care? Burke Supportive Living serving East Tennessee provides personal services for immediate assistance. Burke Supportive Living at your service. It's in the air. It's on the air. Sky 3, live on Channel 3. From raising a healthy family to breakthrough treatments and ways to stay well, mind, body, and spirit. Count on Channel 3's Latrice Curry for Eye on Health reports. Presented by the YMCA. Every Thursday on Channel 3, Eyewitness News, live at 5. Okay, I don't know about you, but I kind of like this cold weather and the low humidity. It's good for my good hair days versus those bad hair days in the months of August and July. But the truth is that there's a lot more that goes into your good hair days than just the humidity level and the temperature. Elizabeth Kincaid knows that all too well. She is the owner of Hair A Go Go and she joins us this morning. Nice to see you. Hi, Julie. So you and I have a chance to talk on a pretty regular basis. And one of the things I love about you is your passion for what you do. And you are a constant student of your craft. So you're not really in the salon area so much this morning. You're back in your science lab almost. We're talking about trichology and why it's important. Absolutely, yes for sure. Uh, it's been really exciting. It's been a really long, exciting journey for me to bring this to Chattanooga. What is trichology exactly, Elizabeth? So trichology is the study of the hair and the scalp uh, on a level that's very in depth and really brings in a lot of science um, and a lot of a very thorough investigation of the scalp. For anyone that's having any kind of issues with many, many different types of hair loss or any type of scalp disorders, any kind of dandruff or oily scalp, things like that. So I want to be careful how much I say because I think I know a little bit more than you can quite reveal. So at any point, if I'm going down an avenue, we have to pause, then just tell me. Sure. But, but what you do is, it, does it begin first with a consultation? Is that how it all starts? It, it does. And that's a great way for people to come to me to just really even understand what I can offer them. Um, oftentimes people are just really curious about, you know, they're having some hair loss or they're having some issues and they don't really fully understand yet what it is that I do and how I can work with their stylist or the people that they go to and kind of bridge that gap for them to have really great hair and to grow hair. Okay. So for me, getting them in for a consultation is great because it's 30 minutes, it's quick, and they, we can kind of ask questions, and that way I can advise them on what to do next. Okay, so let's say that someone comes and it's hair loss, and let's suppose that this person is 76 years old, and she says, you know what, I just figure that that's part of getting older, but my daughter said that she's seeing a spot right here, and I should have it looked at or whatever. Then are you going to do some kind of, is it a blood test that you do, Elizabeth? Is it a, do you get something from her scalp or a hair follicle? What do you do? The first place that we start is we do a trico test. And that's where I do an examination. We take basically a snapshot of what's going on right now on your scalp. And also we're looking at the quality of your hair. You know, if someone comes in with hair loss, it's not just about, uh, you know, maybe they feel like they're kind of shedding more or something like that. It's not enough for me to say, oh, let's put you on some treatment shampoo and six months from now, let's look at it and it looks like it's better. If I can go in and do a trico test, what that is, is I go in and I do a full examination. So I'm not just taking, you know, your pictures of your scalp or things like that. I'm also doing tests for sebum. I'm doing tests for hydration. I'm doing tests for the pH balance of your scalp. We're looking microscopically at your scalp in different areas. Um, I'm also taking different types of measurements in certain areas so that we're really watching and closely examining what's going on. Because if you don't have a healthy scalp, then there's no way you're going to have an optimum environment to regrow hair and to get the best hair of your life. Is it a case by case basis? I'm sure. But if you have an unhealthy scalp, does that necessarily mean you're going to have to go to a high expensive shampoo to correct it? No, not at all. And sometimes you can recover that just over a few treatments, you know, um, there are things that are more expensive than others, obviously. But I think a common thing, especially because in my mind, it seems like you're kind of talking a little bit about like maybe dry scalp or like an oily scalp. 
things like that, oftentimes people go to the grocery store, you know, or Walgreens or whatever, and they're picking up stuff from the shelves. You know, there's many different products out there that tote that they will help with dandruff and things like that. But the problem is that most of those shampoos have certain ingredients that are actually chemical exfoliants. And what they do is they hyper exfoliate your scalp. So they put it in a in a constant state of irritation. Mm. And when that happens, it it just never recovers. You know, your scalp really has a very hard time recovering. The treatments that I do in the salon are treatments that are really naturally based um, and naturally minerally based as well. So these treatments are designed so that maybe you're really approaching it and kind of attacking it at first aggressively, but naturally. A or? Yes, and it's, are you using the right things? Mm. You know, oftentimes I look at people's scalps and things look good, you know, just appearance wise, they look pretty good. But the minute I put them under a microscope and I change the lighting that we're using, the colors of the light that we're using, I can really have an opportunity to detect old sebum or things that aren't actually getting cleansed off the scalp. So when you come in for a test, it's really interesting to see what I'm looking at because you're looking at it microscopically with me as well. And then we do this reveal of this different light therapy on it. And it's like, holy cow, my scalp isn't as clean as I thought it was. Okay, so. I don't want to run out of time, so it's about down to like a minute, minute and a half. Dandruff, also a problem, so if you're having kind of chronic issues, a trichology test could be the way to start. Absolutely, and it's perfect because it works with a dermatologist you're seeing. It works with any kind of general practitioner. You don't have to come to here a go go to come to me. You can go to other salons and go to the stylist that you love. But I'm that person that can really examine your scalp and be that sort of uh, partner in making you have fantastic hair. So here is how you can access her. It's Hera Gogo. She's down on North Market Street, Dallas Road area of North Chattanooga, technically Dallas Road. 752-0500 is the phone number if you want to give them a call today. You can also go online to hairagogo.com. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, Julie. This is Dave. He thought he'd save money by getting internet from one company and TV from, well, from multiple providers. You see, Dave and his wife watch live TV, Ella her favorite kid shows, and Henry loves sports. It was costing Dave a lot. So Dave switched to Spectrum. Switched to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 per month each. Call 833-985-4499. Spectrum Internet with speeds at 200 megabits includes a free modem and free online security software. And Spectrum TV with over 125 channels includes live local news and regional sports and up to 85,000 on-demand titles. Plus, with the free Spectrum TV app, everyone can stream on their devices anywhere. So now Dave has one bill, one provider, no contracts, and is saving a ton. Be like Dave. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 per month each. Call 833-985-4499 or visit Spectrum.com. I got hurt at work. Why should I call Jay and Brent at the McMahon Law Firm? Because when you're hurt on the job, you deserve workers' comp. And we'll fight to get it for you. We got a client who suffered a head injury in a work accident, $200,000. Another client suffered a bad knee injury and we got them $238,000. Wow, why wouldn't I call Jay and Brent? I'm Jay. And I'm Brent. If you've been hurt on the job, call us. We're, We're on top of it. Call 265-1100. Chef Lynn Buffet in East Ridge has fully reopened the buffet. Enjoy a large array of delectable dishes like seafood, fresh sushi, and grilled-to-order hibachi. Chef Lynn, the perfect place to visit with family and friends for a delicious lunch, brunch, or dinner. The past few months have not been easy for anyone, but Chef Lynn is so thankful for your support over the past 20 years, even during hard times. Visit us here in East Ridge to continue celebrating all your favorite Chinese dishes. Go see the chef, Chef Lynn. Ice on the landing at the Choo Choo Gardens. Skate now through January 30th. 
We have had a lot of conversations the last few days about the arts in Chattanooga, uh, and that cannot you cannot say often enough how important our outdoor attractions are, as well as the arts community here. And several years ago, I've forgotten how many now, but Andy Johns will set me straight. The Lookout Wild Film Festival came to Chattanooga. It was a hit, has been a hit ever since, and it blends the best of both of those parts of our beautiful spot on this planet. So good to see you this morning, Andy. Good to see you. Thanks. That's very kind. How many uh, years? Tenth, how many years has it been? Year, believe it or not. <laughs> Say yeah. it again, Andy. It'll be our 10th year, believe it or not. So this will be year number 10 for us. Okay. I remember because three plus you has been on the air 11 years. This we're going into our 12th year. So we kind of were born about the same time and it was kind of a new concept at the beginning and a lot of people kind of scratched their heads thinking what three days of film all about the outdoors how are they going to pull that off but boy you did yeah we had a lot of folks wondering you know because you see the clips on youtube where it's techno music in the background with somebody going down a, a, a you know on a mountain bike um down a mountain They're like how are we going to do this for three days but i think people have really been pleasantly surprised about the stories and the characters um you know the beautiful places around the world that we've been able to showcase uh, this year we've got 50 films from around the world i think they were submitted from about 30 countries um, this year and we went through and picked the 50 very best um, to share with folks right here in chattanooga and from what i remember they vary in length right some are kind of full length features and some are pretty short films our shortest film we've got this year is about a minute and a half, and our longest is about 90 minutes. So we're really all over the place. Um, and that's kind of the fun of it is, is, you know, a lot of these films, you're not going to be able to see them um, on uh, TV or on uh, in, a, in regular movie theater because they just don't quite fit the mold. But when you do a festival like this, you can uh, you string them all together and, and make it all work. and. The variety is uh, is all over the place. The people really seem to enjoy that. I had a conversation with Tom Benson earlier. The Aquarium is about to debut a new IMAX film on Northern Australia. And we were talking about the power of film and how it transports today's kids to places all across the world and it makes them feel connected in a way that we once didn't have. That's what you're seeing here on a micro level. That's right. I mean, if you if you come to one of the the blocks of films that we're going to be showing within about a three hour block, um, you know, you're going to see a film about uh, surfing in Sri Lanka. You're going to see a film about uh, rock climbing right here in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, you're going to see films about um, uh, looking for orchids in the swamps in Florida. And then you might see one about ice caves in Switzerland. I mean, it's all over the place. It's a um, you know, it's really an experience to, to see it all um, from like you said, all over the world. You have the unique opportunity to get to know, I'm sure, and have conversations with a lot of these filmmakers. MTSU, I know, has prided itself recently in really developing a great film program up there on its campus. Can you really define who the typical filmmaker is, or does, are there a variety of people learning the love of the craft? Well, and that's what's been exciting to see over the 10 years that we've been doing this. Um, you know, the, the drone technology has improved. Of course, all the GoPros and all that has come out. The barrier to get in is really a whole lot lower than it used to be. And that's been really helpful to get, um, you know, we worked hard the last uh, probably five years or so to make sure that um, the films that we're showing, not only are the actors uh, or the, the, the talent on screen, uh, is that more diverse? But the filmmakers too, uh, you know, we have uh, on our selection committee, we have what we call the bro patrol to make sure that all the films are not just 20 something white men uh, doing the, the, the uh, everything on screen. So we're really hard to make sure that, that we do have uh, minorities in the outdoor, that we do have a lot of women. And it's been fun to see that shift over the 10 years that, you know, when we started, it really was mainly just, you know, the, the 20 something uh, guys on screen all the time, but now there's a whole lot more, uh, a whole lot more women, a whole lot more uh, diverse audience on screen, uh, both um, in the films and making the films, which has really been been good to see. And you talked about the storytelling side of it. Is part of the power of this over the last ten years, uh, kind of an awareness that we've come to societally, maybe that everybody has a story. You're right. And the stories are not always where you expect them to be. Um, you know, one of the films we've got this year has been kind of fun. We've been doing this long enough where 
Uh, a few years ago, we had Dale Sanders, who was the oldest man to ever paddle the Mississippi. And then we had him has his film back when he was the oldest man to ever hike the Appalachian Trail. And now there's another 80, uh, I think he's 84, 83 years old from Alabama, who has now broken Dale's record. Now we've got that film and Dale's coming back. Um, you know, so we're we're, we're going to have a couple of uh, 80 plus year old guys who have hiked the Appalachian Trail in their 80s uh, to, to share their story. That's not the kind of thing you would expect. You know, right. the same thing with the. The surfer in Sri Lanka, you know, that's the place where women aren't really supposed to be surfers, according to the culture. So she's got a story to tell about um, about how she's kind of breaking barriers. Okay, got I got to wrap, about, I, I gotta wrap it up. But to get tickets, sure. how do they get them? Uh, so you can go to lookoutfilmfestival.org, and that's where all the information is. Sorry, I get excited about uh, all the films. <laughs> we could talk for a while about that. That's okay. I wish that we had more time to do it. You should be getting excited about it. The dates are February 4th to the 6th at the Tivoli Theater, which was intended to be a movie house anyway. Uh, when it opened, it's the perfect place to go and see it. Get your tickets at lookoutfilmfestival.org. 50 plus films you can enjoy this year, right? Absolutely. It'll Andy, be great. Hope to see everybody there. Thank you, Andy. Congratulations on 10 years. Thanks. Start your day with Channel 3 Eyewitness News today. The big stories, breaking news, traffic, and an accurate forecast you can trust to plan your day. Everything you need to know to get out the door. And get through your day in one place. O'Reilly Auto Parts, World of Wheels, January 7th through 9th at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Discount tickets at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Details at worldofwheels.net. Does your home need new siding? Let us guide you through the process of re-siding your home. We take off your old, rotted, worn out siding and install new, beautiful, hardy siding. And believe me, you're gonna love it. There's no need to paint because it comes pre-painted in a variety of colors. Call us today and receive free gutters or no payments for one full year. Choose the best to better your home. Visit ChattanoogaSears.com or call us at 805-3800. At Jack's, everything is made with a dedication to Southern flavor, starting with never frozen, always fresh chicken fingers with fries and our new cherry fried pie. That's just more to love. Jack's, all about the South. I got hurt in a car wreck. How much is it going to cost me to hire Jay and Brent? Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That's right. It costs you absolutely nothing up front to hire us. We don't get paid until you get paid. It didn't cost me anything for Jay and Brent to get started on my case, and they got me $500,000. I'm Jack. And I'm Brent. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call us. We're, We're on, on top, top of it. it. Hurt in a car wreck? Call 265-1100. That's 265-1100. Follow the leader. Follow WRCB on Twitter. Jersey Boys, Broadway's Tony Award winning best musical, is coming to the Memorial Auditorium. Channel 3 wants you to see the true story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Enter to win a pair of tickets every day on our Facebook page. Okay, there's a lot to be said practical for driving a minivan or an SUV, maybe even a sedan to work every day. But let's face it, all of us can enjoy the fun of a snazzy car, one of those dream vehicles that you only have a chance every now and then to see. Amy Coffey gets to see them very often, plus she has the fun of bringing them our way because this weekend it's World of Wheels at the Chattanooga, Chattanooga Convention Center and she joins us this morning. Good to see you, Amy. Thanks, Julie. You too. So it was kind of funny. I knew I was going to be talking to you this morning, and I was somewhere yesterday, and there was a group of young people. I was at a business, and I could hear them all saying, come here, come here, come here. They were calling each other up to this window, and in the parking lot of this business was a Lamborghini, and yeah. they were having fun watching it. And then an older person there said, you know what? World of Wheels is coming this weekend. I wonder what kinds of amazing cars they're going to have. So it was the perfect ushering in for our conversation. Yeah. So what are you going to find at World of Wheels? Oh gosh, all kinds of beautiful cars like the Lamborghinis. Um, any, anything from present day cars to old cars, you know, classics and custom cars. Um, all kinds of, these are beautiful show cars. These people have really put a lot of time, and talent and effort and money into these cars as a hobby and they go around and show them at these different events all over the country 
Um, I mean, they're beautiful. You don't see anything like these on the street. Is part of the fun of this, Amy, that the owners themselves are there so that when you go, you can ask questions? Yeah, yeah, and and they're very passionate about these cars and what all they've done to them. Um, so yeah, and they love to talk to you about them um, if you want to talk and ask them questions. Yeah, they're on site. We were able to see some of them. I know you've got it's the convention center, so obviously lots and lots to go and see. But I was noticing the variety that you're going to find. Yes, lots of variety, lots of variety. So any kind of car that you've ever thought about being interested in, you could see it on the show floor. And it's different every year. So we always try to get a variety each year. So it's a different show every time you come back. Is, um, is it the kind of thing where you can go all three days or does, do you just get a ticket for each individual day? Um, you get a, a ticket for each individual day. Um, we've got stuff going on all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so in addition to the cars, you know, there's celebrities and there's stuff for the kids and there's prizes. We give away all kinds of uh, good prizes all throughout the weekend. So there's a lot to do and see. What kind of things for the kids besides oogling at the cars? Um, well, they have, we have, if you've ever seen any Transformer movies or Star Wars movies, you could possibly see those kind of characters, um, get your picture made with them, um, you know, so stuff like that. Oh, we have uh, Hot Wheels. They give the kids each a Hot Wheel for free when they come in the door, and um, they get to race these Hot Wheels for free, so that's kind of fun. That is fun. You know, it's interesting, too, timing-wise, because in just the auto industry in general, everyone knows that it's hard. The supply chain has affected um, car dealerships across the country. So I wonder with these enthusiasts who are bringing their cars here, if they've had to get a replacement part, they've got double hoops to jump through. True, yeah, yeah, makes it difficult. And I guess they're coming from all across the country, is that right? They're, I mean, you, they could be here from California and New York and Yes, definitely. These cars are from all over the place. Um, yeah, so we try to look for the, the best cars all over the country and bring them right here to Chattanooga. Okay, and I'm assuming too it's a look but don't touch kind of an event, correct? Yes, <laughs> please do not touch, yes. <laughs> okay, so when, uh, thank goodness our bad weather will have come and gone by the time the doors open. When can people start going on Friday? Yeah, it opens at 3 o'clock on Friday, so 3 to 9 on Friday, 10 to 9 on Saturday, and then uh, 10 to 6 on Sunday. You can get your tickets before you come to the show if you want to at O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. Any O'Reilly Auto Parts stores, then they're discounted. So they're $18 at the door, but they're $15 for adult tickets at the O'Reilly stores, and kids are $5. Excellent, and they're going to get their Hot Wheel when they come through the door. Right. All right. Amy, great to see you. Thanks so much. I'm glad y'all were able to come and do this live and in person this year. Thank you. Me too. We're very excited to be back. It is O'Reilly's World of Wheels. Again, as you heard Amy say, if you go to your local O'Reilly store and get your ticket there, it's $15. If you forget, it's just $3 more at the door, $18. Kids are 5 bucks. Go have a great time and you can stay nice and warm and find the car of your dreams. Just look. Don't touch. We're back after this. West Shell and Knife Trading Post has everything under the sun. Half inch plywood, $24.50. Three quarter inch plywood, $35.50. Three eighths inch beadboard, just $22.50. Don't pay big box prices, but hurry, limited quantities available. You better get it when you see it at West Yell and Knife. If you're disabled, don't go through the Social Security disability process alone. Whatever your disability, we can help you. The attorneys at Warren and Griffin have over 600 five-star reviews, more than any other law firm in Chattanooga. Call right now. We will help with your application, paperwork, communications with